by the by the mercy of this Siddha Baba, he got something, and that's called Mahat Agya. It is the order received from a saint, and when we get the order from a saint and we take it seriously, it will happen. It will come true. So he became he became a different person slowly after reciting it, meditating it. He got so much taste that he lost his taste for his job. That was not artificial, not because he was escaping from his job and he he was so happy to do nothing anymore. It was like a spiritual uh, deep uh, calling that developed in his heart. And he became a madman. And the people thought that he got cra he became crazy. They, they think he became crazy. But they think it's not like a spiritual or divine craziness, but they thought it was um, Pagali means, you know, somebody from a nut house, we would say, somebody from an institution. <laughs> so, but he didn't care. He was wearing old clothes, not like my very nice, white, shiny chada. He was wearing like very old clothes. And he was only bagging his foodstuffs, no? madukari. And always he was singing and reciting Prema Bhakti Chandrika. And he lovingly offered everything to Radha and Krishna in his heart. And because he was such a high-ranking officer, you know, like the high jaw judge, and he was changing so quickly, the people, they really thought he's a lost case. And they didn't care about him anymore, and also he didn't care what others were thinking of him. He had given up the interest in external, uh, you know, name, fame, and glory. He was so happy with his Prema Bhakti Chandrika. So one day in Navadvip, it is the town where Lord Nitananda and Lord Goranga came, where they lived. In that town, Navadvip, there was a big assembly of great pundits. And they you know, Navadvip was always the town of very intelligent, not only like learned people, but spiritually highly realized souls. That's why also Lord Goranga was appearing there. He was in the beginning of his life. His name and the way the people called him was Nimai Pandit. He was so clever. He was so smart. He could out speak and out discuss everyone every pundit. So in Navadvip, in Bengal, that is that town where many, many pundits meet regularly for divine discussions. So the gentleman who had considered, uh, you know, who everyone thought he was crazy, he also tried to go. He wanted to listen some nectar from the pundits and he wanted to share his feelings. But when he tried to enter, there was a gate man. <laughs> Again, there was a gate man. And they didn't recognize a great soul or a realized Baba. They kicked him away. They said, oh, this is for pundits. It's not for beggars. I'm sorry. <laughs> and so again he came. After some time he came. Again, they kicked him away. So then a third time he came. And by then, the boss of the assembly, and I will say you his name, <laughs> it's a very amazing name, Maha Mahopadhyaya Pandita Shri Yukta Ajita Nyaya Ratna Mahashoi. That is one name. <laughs> He was a big pundit. And you know, in India, when you get some uh, reputation as a learned pundit, they always give you a new title, new title, new title. So he was already so many titles 
that uh, nobody probably can really say his whole name anymore. But he had noticed him from the sidelong glance and he, he stopped the gatekeeper. Wait a minute, wait. And he asked him, why do you enter into this assembly? Despite the fact that you are being, being kicked away again and again. Do you have any business here? Do you have some something to do here? It looks like you're a beggar. And so he openly told him his whole story, his feelings about Prema Bhakti Chandrika and how he had met Siddha Baba and uh, that his life had changed. And uh, when this great Mahashai, the great learned Pandit heard this, he offered his Sashtanga Dandavats, you know, prostrated. He, his whole body, he was lying down. You see this sometimes in Vrindavan also. They lie down completely and the hands are here in front. And he realized that he is a very great personality, a realized soul that nobody could understand who he was. And so to the whole assembly he said, My dear sadhus, my dear babas, my dear great souls, today our beginning of our conference was successful because Nityananda has sent this realized soul to our place and he will share with us about Prema Bhakti Chandrika and his realization of how divine love can come through reciting or hearing this Prema Bhakti Chandrika, these nectar syllables from the lotus mouth of Naratam Nastaka. So that is the that is the amazing story of this Prema Bhakti Chandrika and the and the result it can have on our lives. So if Gurudev says to us, once a week we will share about Prema Ch Bhakti Chandrika, he is like telling us, also I want to give you this. I know how it tastes. I know I take this prasad of Prema Bhakti Chandrika. I take the flying kiss of Naratam Das Thakur. Try it also, try it. Just uh, go, get into the flow of this. Try to get into the mood of this. And your heart will melt like we have heard from this gentleman who was a very, very special personality coming from a high position as a judge, becoming a beggar of divine love and crying in his reciting of the songs of Naratam Dastaku. Therefore, Srila Thakur Mahashoi says, Naratam Das Thakur, by exclusively surrendering to Sri Radha Mohan's lotus feet and blissfully accepting the holy names of Radha Krishna, that are most relishable abodes of rasa, this is the best way to attain prema, and I will take shelter of these greatest items of bhajan. And then Baba gives this, what we have already heard many times, but it's always again and again inspiring. He gives this uh, comparison when a person has a jaundice, maybe some of you who have been in India, they had it. I have had it also once. Jaundice is a, a special uh, disease of the liver. When you have it, everything tastes bitter and you have no appetite at all. You don't want to eat, you don't want to drink. It's a kind of like a, you know, tough, tough disease. But actually, you have to taste sugar again. You have to taste the sweetness again. And then the disease, when it, it, it's, it's over, you get back your taste. But only by continuously taking or tasting sugar, the patient will be cured from this jaundice and ultimately experience the naturally sweet taste of sugar. So this is our position. We always 
think that the spiritual life is a, something a bitter. I have to, you know, do it. Do I have to do it? <laughs> but actually, the more you do it, the more it becomes tasty and sweet. And you don't want to do anything else without this consciousness. And then Baba writes at the end of the paragraph that Srimad Das Goswami, Zoragunath Das Goswami, has written in one of his prayers, O oh, my thirsty tongue, always drink these two substances, the names of Radha which is captivating like fresh, beautiful nectar. And Krishna, the name which is very sweet, like wonderful condensed milk. And make them wonderful by mixing them with the fragrant eyes of Anurag, constant, passionate attachment. Wow. I will repeat this. This is a very uh, tasty and delicious prayer. Oh, my thirsty tongue. You are thirsty, right? You always want some nectar. <laughs> that is your nature. <laughs> you are thirsty for something to drink, for something to eat. You want to say something. <laughs> oh, my thirsty tongue. If you are so thirsty, then why? Let's try it. Let's just try it. Drink the two substances. The name Radha, which is captivating like fresh, beautiful nectar, because it is the name of love personified. And the name Krishna, which is very sweet, like wonderful condensed milk, like the nectar of the nectar of the nectar and make them more wonderful. Can one make them more wonderful? They are already wonderful in themselves. They are already what they are. But how we make them more, more wonderful, that is interesting. We are mixing them with ice. You know, in the summertime when it's very hot, a drink is nice, but if you put a little bit of ice inside, ah, oh, my God, then it's like a big relief. <laughs> like especially when you are in Vrindavan or in a hot summer here when you have about 40 degrees or something, you feel very hot. If you have a drink and then you put some ice cubes in there. And what are these ice cubes? These ice cubes are the fragrant ice cubes of Anurag. So that is the secret. And what is this Anurag? Also explained. This is the constant passionate attachment. And we all know that. How it is to chant with attachment or to chant without attachment. We all know the difference. And me, at least, I am always praying that Oh, please, I want to have some attachment. Give me more attachment. Let me be more attached. All my dear brothers and sisters, I pray for more attachment. By your mercy, by the grace of Gurudev, by the mercy of Nityananda, of Prema Bhakti Chandrika, of all my, you know, helpers on my spiritual path, I want more attachment. And this is the ice. That is like the icing on the, you know, like when we have a beautiful cake. The cake is already nice, but if you have an icing, that is the top of the top of the top of the rasa. Because then it becomes more juicy, it becomes more flavorable. So when we have this ice cream or ice cube of anurag, the constant passion and attachment that is making the names of Radha and Krishna more beautiful even more tasteful so Sriman Mahaprabhu also once asked Ramananda Roy his 
dear most devotee. Shreshta Upasya Yogala Radha Krishna Nam Upasya Madhya Khan Upasya Pradhan What is most adorable of all that is adorable? And uh, Radha, Ram Ramananda, uh, he answered, It is the names of Radha and Mohan. They are most adorable and most delicious. So, and then he puts this uh, Fal Shruti. Ah, that is also a nice point. Have you heard this name, the Fal Shruti? I think you all, some of you have heard about the Fal Shruti. It's the final benediction of a reciter. We have many shlokas or songs and prayers. And at the end of the last prayer, there's always like a, the fruit. What, what is the benediction of this song? What is the benediction if we are reciting these uh, verses or if we repeat what we have heard? For example, here is one nice example. Uh, in Sri Krishna, uh, in Chaitanya Chaitamrita, Kavriyaj Goswami gave the best Fal Shruti. I feel it's the best. He says, even those, <laughs> this is so amazing, even those who cannot understand anything, <laughs> you can believe you can believe it, even those who cannot understand anything, just like me, I don't understand anything, but still, they will awaken their dormant love for Krishna by continuously hearing these amazing pastimes of Sri Chaitanya. That is the best benediction. <laughs> Even if you don't understand anything, you will understand it because understanding comes from inside. It does not come from the brain or the mind. It comes from the heart. So Krishna does Kavirach Goswami he was giving this benediction. And that's why he also wrote in Chaitanya Chaitamrita, and Gurudev always uh, is saying this to us, a dumb child can, even a, a child can understand it. A small, innocent child, not dumb, but open-hearted and sweet and receptive and believing. So that's amazing that we have this blessing of Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. Just by reading about Lord Chaitanya, we will get the blessings. And here, Baba is giving the blessings in his um, Prema Bhakti Chandrika. He said, in this, in this tree party, I think these are the prayers. He always says tree party, like three lines or so. Three confidential practices of Raga Nuga Bhajan are shown. Love for Radha Krishna. What is the the how we are you know how we are yearning how we are so eager we really want to serve this love of Radha Krishna. An attachment to the books written by the big Mahajanas who are deeply realized in the flavors of a devotion. And the Nama Sankirtan, the singing or reciting of the holy names of Radha Mohan or Radha Krishna. These are the three secrets that he has revealed to us and that we are, by some uh, unknown fortune, we can listen today, we can somehow drink it with our ears and and develop also our relationship, our Ananda, our Nitya Ananda. <laughs> so, Radhe Radhe, my dears, that is what I just collected today as a nectar pollen from the lotus feet of Ananda Das Babaji Maharaj and also our Naratam Das Thakur. And I want to look at the time. Oh, okay. We have 10 more minutes, so I want to invite you also to share and express your feelings if you like listening about this what you feel what you want to express please i need to have also some of your feelings 
राधे राधे सुनीति राधे दया निधि राधे राधे टुडे यू रियली टच माय हार्ट सो मच एंड आई वाज फीलिंग व्हेन uh this is strong uh, faith you know that uh, the books of acharya can give us everything right? that they are um, direct connection with them no and i was thinking um how we take the mercy of nityananda from the beginning how nityananda was taking care of, of us even with, when we didn't know who we are uh when you said um uh the verse of this uh, sida no who said just only by two paises you can obtain prema if you buy a book so prema bhakti chandrika and i was thinking how proper was it so intelligent he he engaged us in such in such a kind of distribution you also have this experience me too also when without the realization what we are doing we was distributing the, the pure love and and this they are so intelligent nita is so intelligent that they they using us even uh completely in ignorance or without knowledge to do so high so high spiritually elevated service and i think that today today uh, fruit of this activity which are not act our activity they make activity for us actually we can a uh, taste some of these fruits and today was really like a tasting this fruit so i'm, I'm really really <laughs> i don't know I, it was really 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 powerful today and uh, how they care take care about us it is incredible really we are completely protected mm. and that all all acharya and gurudev they are one one thing one person they are nityananda so exactly as yes. it is when you really feel it in the heart then some tears will come thank you for sharing your feelings and tears we had the same a feeling this morning when we were hearing our, about uh the mercy of 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 naratam das taku actually this morning uh yes gurudev is not here <laughs> this morning gurudev we were exchanging a little bit and he was so he was so merciful he was saying that just by singing these syllables you will attain perfection and you know how it goes we hear it a lot of times but sometimes we are lucky that the heart can be open and then the tears come it is like a miracle it's 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 very special to 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 have this feelings to to be thankful i am always thankful when the tears come because that has some meaning that my heart is is somehow becoming more soft no that is the that is the mercy actually i i feel so grateful that you are also sharing your tears with us because the tears are the pearls of the heart these tears are the pearls so thank you daya need you you are really connected i was also i don't know i was crying for at least one hour this morning i could not stop it you know it was so special i felt this was such a special morning and i guess they could always be special these mornings but my heart became open and i don't know why it was causeless mercy <laughs> thank you but uh, what is the secret what which kind of sharing in the morning <laughs> Oh it was uh, uh, I don't know it was organizing Go, tour. If, yeah we we are organizing the tour right for 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 Prashant Baya and Rasa Leela and Dr Chavan and we have uh, many devotees here by 
by mercy because we're always happy when when we get this service taking care of the devotees and serving and having so beautiful time together so we are discussing with Gurudev how to do it how to you know where to go and which days and so we were like sharing on this and at one point uh, we were sharing about Prima Bhakti Chandrika and Gurudev was glorifying Naratam Das Thakur. He was glorifying the whole Prima Bhakti Chandrika. He was saying the same thing like Baba said here, but it was completely like, like a blessing. And because of hearing it with my open heart, I felt something opened more. <laughs> it was not like something ordinary. It became, at that moment, it became alive, you know? It became alive. <laughs> and I felt so blessed that Gurudev is giving me this service. And it's not only me, it's like we are a whole family, right? We are sharing, we are, we are expressing feelings, we are... What can I do if there's nobody who listens? I can speak to the walls. Okay, but it's more juicy if there's somebody who is also feeling and expressing and smiling and and if we can inspire each other, this is my and my best point. service. What Gora uh, sings. Uh, one important point was also that uh, we spoke about. Uh, can you hear him? Can you hear Gora? We cannot hear nicely. No. Oh no! You have to come to this side. You cannot listen. Hear me, Radhe Radhe, my dears. Radhe. Now, now is better. Yeah. Yes. 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 We we spoke about the last classes, and then uh, we came to the point that there is uh, so much inspiration by the association in the same mood. So then. Uh, there was, uh, for example, this one, we spoke about the pollen, this... Uh, the bee's pollen. The, the bee, bees. yeah, no, Radhika's, uh, mm. Radhika's blessing by her lotus feet, like uh, pollen. And this example we use sometimes, and then uh, 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 Gorachandra, at, yes, he, he got the inspiration that this pollen actually, the cling, it's cling mantra. Cling mantra. And in this way, we, we, everybody adds something to the point we read. And then uh, more is coming. This is a chewing of something special. And with every ingredient, it becomes more sweet. And it becomes uh, this beauty uh, that it uh, uh, get after all, no? so then, uh, but it needs uh, association in the same mood. If if there are five people with five different mood, <laughs> that's not so easy. <laughs> but if you have five people in the same mood, and we speak about the same topic, then something beautiful is coming. Then this anurag, I think this ice, this ice comes in the juice. That is the special, you know, making it more better even than it is already. And even Gurudev said that he 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 get uh, a lot of in, inspiration by this. Listen. When we in a big group and uh, share, and uh, of course he 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 give the 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 main inspiration and but. Every one of us is also able to put some little thing, some realization, own realization. Like, uh, I only give this from Gorachanda because I only remember this one uh, just now, but there was many other topics what were uh, actually coming. Uh? And um, it's interesting, I just come from the temple uh, from Goloka uh, uh, Dam oh. Temple, uh, Radha Madan Mohan, and uh, we was uh, say goodbye to Sachinanda Swami. Um, some of you know him, his old uh, Prabhupada uh, uh, disciple, and and when he leave, he make this uh, interesting point that uh, the devotees cannot stay 
uh, on one point. Uh, like to say, oh, Prabhupada said this and Prabhupada. Yes, it's a, of course, Prabhupada is important, but he, he made the point that everyone has to analyze his own realizations. And on that, he has to work. So it's interesting to see this, that everyone has to work on his own uh, realizations. And then he made the point that, uh, for example, he made the example of, we heißt das nochmal, dieses uh, Anata Nivriti. Mm. So that was his last word when he leave. So work on it. So not stay on it and say, oh, Krishna will do. And, and Prabhupada said, no, no, he, he inspired. Do your homework, like Guru says. <laughs> yeah, do yeah. your homework. Uh, he inspired uh, other devotees uh, to to continue and to grow. So that was, um, I think there will also, step by step, something will happen. And uh, uh, because it's they all devotees, and uh, uh, it takes time, but also like Gurudev said, it takes time for growing. And I was very happy to listen to this. And uh, then I realized again this uh, the same sangha. What is it? The name is Sajatya Sangha. Sahaja. Sahaja sangha. Sajatya sangha. Sajatya sangha. This is the right word. Sajatya sangha is so important to grow. Mm. Same feeling. This was <laughs> right. <laughs> Sundaram, you right? Is it right? Yeah, uh, our dear uh, Jayananda Maharaj say always Sajati Sangha, same feeling. Sajati. No, same feeling, yes. Yeah. But, yeah. but even when we have different feelings or different different teachers, your realization was also like your realization, Dayanidhi. It's all Nityananda's mercy, yes. how we are guided. And Gurdjieff yeah. always say to us, we can add but never cut. We yeah. add love, we add more, you know, deeper realizations or uh, relations, but we never cut. It's not yeah. by, we cannot grow when we say, oh, what I have learned before was nothing. It was all not good. But now it's... Or fine. neglect our previous uh, teachers. teachers. Mm -hmm. No, no, because of this, I, I was there and say goodbye to him because... For more than 10 years, he was my Shiksha Guru. So uh, we have to respect our previous Gurus. Uh, and uh, our Gurudev give always the best example for this, how to behave to previous uh, teachers or even to other devotees, to other Vaishnavas. He is always full of respect and give best example how to welcome now, you all remember this when some uh, uh, sadhu come to our place they always uh, with big opulence they, he, he uh, welcome everyone everyone gets prasadam everybody mm -hmm. gets a sitting place and so on and so on so this is a good inspiration to learn from him how to behave also to our previous uh, teachers. And it's all, we spoke this morning, you asked uh, Dainini uh, the topics, we spoke about this uh, uh, Nityananda uh, uh, um, as a global guru. And because of this, he is Avadud. He changed his mood, always. You, you don't know in which mood he is, because he is this guru for everyone. So he cannot be only one. He is, he is maybe in one time for you, Sachinanda Swami, and then some years later, he is uh, in, in Sadhu Maharaj, right? It's a, it's a global system what protecting us and help us to grow. Universal. Yes. Universal. Mm -hmm. This is Nityananda. It's so beautiful, his guidance. Sorry, I... We are, we, out are, of time. we are out of time. Yeah. <laughs> no, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing because I, I can feel that everybody, uh, included me, that we are growing so fast in this way. 
By we this are really song. going fast. I feel also there's a lot of mercy on our see. heads and in our hearts. Guru Dev is really giving <laughs> all of it to us. True. Some special um, mercy. Thank you so much to all, thank all you. of you. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe and Sundaram, now you will start your Kirtan program, right? Right. But I want to say a little thing first. Please. Uh, today, uh, you touched my heart also, and I want to say thank you to choose this verse because uh, we learn also to face the gatekeeper. <laughs> so not surrender first uh, uh, first time. No, we have to face the gatekeeper maybe two, three, or four times. So you <laughs> give me... We have to face the kicks. Uh, we have to live with the kicks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you give me a big hope. Because uh, this way we, uh, we can achieve something very high. So very, very thank you, Suniti. Thank you, all. It's all good of mercy. He was overwhelming us this morning. Now he's not mm. here. It's better, otherwise I would cry all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. With us. He's always with us. Yeah. Thank you all for coming and listening and sharing your love.